Hi there, my name is Christina Halstead. I am a 2D animator currently living in Burbank, California. Uh, my training is in traditional hand-drawn paper animation and I've been using Toon Boom for over a year and a half for digital hand-drawn animation and for cutout and bone deform animation. Uh, what I'm going to talk about in this series of tutorials is how to add effects using the node view in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. And the first one we're going to talk about today is the blur effect. There are actually several blur effects. So I'll bring them up here. I went into my node library right here. And I'm going to type in blur into the handy little search bar that we have. And you can see several blurs show up. I'm going to go ahead and use the most basic, which is the radial. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it into my node view, which is up here. I've got my dog master group, which has all my assets in it, and a peg over that to move it around if I want to. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this blur into the uh, node view. There are a couple ways to add a node to a system that already exists. One way is to take the image and attach that to the input and then attach the output of the effect to the composite. And you can see the character turn blue. That means that it is being affected by a effect, a visual effect. Uh, another way to add a effect to a system is to hold down your mouse button and hold down Alt. And you'll see a little icon shows up, which is for linking them together. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it over the line. You can see it kind of snaps right to it. So I'm going to release my mouse, and just like last time, the character turns blue, which means it is an effect. Now, uh, there are just two parameters in the uh, radial blur, and basically it's the quality of the blur, and how far that blur is actually going. Now I can turn it up right now, and you're not going to see a difference in the character, and that is because the character is in, right now we're in the camera view tab, but we're also in the uh, OpenGL view mode. And that's basically so you can see uh, the animation without the effects. So what I'm going to do is go into the render view. And you can see our character is blurred a little bit. I'm going to go and turn on a color card so we can actually see where her black line is. And so now we can see that the character is indeed blurry. I'm going to take this back down to zero so you can see what it's supposed to look like. And what I'll do is I'll turn that back up again. Let's go to two. And you can see our character is blurry. And I mean, it's pretty basic. It's as far as complex complexity, it's, it's pretty basic. So we'll just uh, go ahead and turn that blur up a little bit more and I can show you the difference with the quality. You can see that the blur is kind of, it's very fine. It has a nice gradation to it. That's because it's high quality. If I turn it to low, it's going to get a little chunky, a little choppy. You can see some, uh, not quite artifacting, but you can see some pixelation in here. Turn that back to high. And uh, so if you're, if you're looking for something that doesn't need to be too fine of detail, that's when you use the low. It's less taxing on your computer. Uh, renders a little bit faster, too. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back down to just a little blur. And like with most effects in Toon Boom, this can be animated over time uh, by going in the timeline and using your keyframes, which would be these little red dots, and animating over time using either tweening or stop motion. And that is how you use the blur effect.